all right boys in this video we're going to be showing you how to reinstall the PLCD sensor otherwise known as the clutch sensor um, I ended the last video with just the removal so this video we're going to reinstall it, it should be pretty straightforward and easy but uh, in this video I'm going to get into the programming and show you how the new scanner works to do all the programming necessary to do this job so first off I'm going to put the sensor in then second off before I start the car or key it again I have this depressurized which I showed you in the last video so with this depressurized I'm going to fill this because it's actually down a little bit in fluid so I'm just going to top it up to be safe and then we're going to go ahead with the computer stuff once we get the car somewhat back together so I can at least start it hopefully all right so I've got the new sensor in but I have the old sensor laying here so when the sensor sensors bolted in the car it's like this in order to extract it and get it by without taking any more stuff apart you have to rotate it 180 degrees and it puts this on the narrower side facing out towards the driver's door so that'll let you get it in and out of the hole and for me I can't get the o-ring to completely seat so as I tighten it I'm gonna tighten both bolts together and make sure that that o-ring seats nice and the way it should so I'll get that done so that's the fluid right there that I use guys and it's like a bluish green color when you pour it out all right guys I've got the transmission lifted back up somewhere close to where it should be and I took my fill plug out of the uh, the SMG unit there and I geared up a little pump with the old lady's old hairspray bottle and this puppy holds it says a hundred and fifty milliliters and I put practically that whole bottle in so that's how much I used before I started getting run out which they say it's just like the transmission you fill it until it drips out so the only concern I have now is this plug but it wasn't leaking before so I'm gonna cross my fingers that it doesn't leak now but um, if all goes well with this job I'm gonna probably just go to a local machine shop and get this made up because the dealership told me they wanted hundred and twenty dollars for this so I'd rather give that money to a local machine shop than those guys so anyway I'm gonna put this fill plug back in and you don't over tighten it you just tighten it a little bit and uh, I'm gonna get this mounted and hopefully uh, be able to do a scan all right drive shafts back in so the next step is going to be the heat shields and then the lovely exhaust and the cross brace but um, we're getting there slowly all right let's give this a go and see if we can complete a clutch relearn the sensor so we're gonna go with F5 after replacing the PLCD sensor F2 <clears throat> no without bleeding so we're gonna power the car up F1 Teach and complete it. Yes. Now 
now let's see if we can get this transmission to clear up. cannot be engaged. What is going on here? Alright, so the clutch relearn did not work. We installed the new PLCD sensor and it still not will complete the first sequence. It's saying clutch engagement position out of tolerance. So, um, I got a mouthful to say here and all kinds of stuff to go over. The transmission, as you can see, is on the floor, sitting on blocks so nothing underneath gets damaged. Used a transmission jack to get it out. Quite a bit of a job. Um, you know, it's we're getting pretty deep at this point, but there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve or thirteen <coughs> bell housing bolts. Now keep in mind, this one that you see up here in the very center, you don't have to take out. I believe that actually holds the starter in. So that center Allen key one, you do not have to mess with. But um, I installed a brand new clutch in this just about 30,000 kilometers ago. So I really don't think my clutch is messed up. And as you can see, it's a, uh, it's a sash. So it's a fairly good name brand clutch. Um, when I put it together, or uh, when the guy put it together that I got to do it, my buddy that works at a transmission shop, we put a brass bushing in here. So that's not plastic anymore. I upgraded to the brass piece. And everything seems to be all right here. The, uh, the bearing looks good. It's a little bit noisy, but um, it's not blown to pieces. So, I got to throw a huge shout out to the guys that made this video because I think at this point this is going to be my next step. Um, there's my phone. So, we're looking at Reddish Motorsports on YouTube. And I'm going to hit the subscribe button right now because in this video, BMW SMG won't adapt. He uses the same type of car, a BMW M6, and they put all brand new parts into it. They even replace the PLCD sensor. And when he goes to do the clutch adapt and relearn for the new components, the task won't complete. He gets the same issue on the scan tool. <coughs> Now, mind you, he's using the actual BMW software. I'm using the new Creator Elite, but still, same results. So, he actually shows in his video that there's a note rate from BMW that these are known to have trouble with the slave cylinder. So, the PLCD sensor basically goes in the side of the slave cylinder, but we're getting an out of tolerance reading, so the trouble must be inside this unit because as you can see we've got absolutely no fragments in our bell housing from the clutch the, the disc did not blow apart there's nothing scary or shiny in here just a sec 
So to me, everything looks good. When we did the clutch, the flywheel wasn't scored up at all. It just basically one of the discs ruptured on the inside, so it didn't harm anything. I was lucky that way. But um, can't get this readapt to do its thing, or the clutch relearn, which is the first step of the process. And now that we got the transmission down, I think I find myself in another issue because when I did the, when I mistakenly did a transmission relearn, trying to get the car to start when it was not mobile in my yard and I didn't want to tow it back here to the shop, um, when I tried to do a transmission relearn, I got a incomplete on that task as well. And it's now saying longitudinal sensor. So, I'm not 100% sure because I didn't double check yet, but I believe this guy on top of the SMG is the longitudinal sensor. And the harness just runs down here to the side of the transmission where your main harness is on plug to drop it. But look at this. This thing is fractured and cracked out of hell. And even on the other side, it's hard to see on the right down in there it's split as well and basically <clears throat> if that's all split to hell I'm not sure if that sensor is going to get an accurate reading so I think I'm into another bag of worms with that and of course well the transmission's down we don't want to do this any more times than we have to it's already been too many times in the last 30,000 kilometers so um, at this point, I'm basically kind of speechless, but at the same time, summer's almost here. I want to use this car, so I want it fixed, and I want it fixed right, so once I get it working, it stays working. But we've got a little bit of moisture here around the top of the trans, but nothing really evident of any kind of major leak. So I think as far as that goes, for now, we're all right. Um, the solenoids are a little rusty. I think before I put this together, I'm going to get some rust inhibitor and just spray up the spots that are a little not so great looking. But um, to change this slave cylinder, what we need to do, <clears throat> you have to have the transmission off. As the boys in the video I recommended you to watch as well shows you, you got to have this apart because the nuts are on the inside of the bell housing. So I guess the next step is to uh, find some part sources and see where I can get this thing somewhat affordable because just about everything you buy for this is about a thousand bucks it seems. But um, yeah, a little upset with how cracked up this sensor got. And uh, probably going to cause future issues if I don't replace it so anyway <clears throat> that's it for now we're off to the parts places to see what we can get and what we can do here but um, and she's pretty ugly boys I won't lie <laughs>